Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a Monarch Butterfly paper project to share with you. We are going to be using this paper by Fabriano. It is watercolor paper and I'm going to be using it with my Silhouette Cameo in order to cut out some Monarch Butterfly designs. So I just trimmed down the paper to 11 inches by 12 inches so that it fits into my Silhouette Cameo. Now I'm in the program and I am just squeezing in a bunch of these butterflies onto that piece of paper. This is a design that I got from the Silhouette Cameo store and I will link that down in the description box below so that you can check it out as well. All right, it's time to send it to the Silhouette Cameo. This one took quite a while to cut. There are a lot of intricate cuts. It took about 10 to 15 minutes. You can see how beautiful they are now that it's time to take it off the mat. I did set my blade to size 10 just to ensure that we got a good cut. There are two pieces to this design and we're gonna start with the solid one first. I'm using my Distress inks in order to color this in. I'm using a little blender tool. I'm using three different colors. You can find more information about this product down in the description box below. I love Distress inks for many reasons. They have this beautiful rich color and they also blend really well. And later we're gonna add a little bit of water in the form of color shine on top of this. You're gonna see the colors really blend together beautifully. Of course, they're gonna have a shimmer and a shine to them, which is going to look fabulous against the dark black outline of the rest of the design. Now I'm using my Black Distress Ink Spray in order to color in the center of the butterfly as well as that piece that overlays on top of it. I am going to add my Heidi Swap Color Shine to the butterfly now, and you're just gonna see it transform beautifully. I love the way this shimmer and shine blends the color underneath, and plus it's gonna really look like butterfly wings. I am using my Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue, but you can also use spray adhesive for this. And do let it dry completely. I was incredibly impatient, and some of the glue is going to get in between that intricate design. It looks okay in the end, but with the later projects, I do give it enough time to dry completely. All right, so I just wanna position that correctly so that it's perfectly aligned with the piece on the bottom. And that's what it looks like when it's done. You can see that beautiful shimmer and shine. All right, so I let this one dry just a tad bit longer and I am using my glue stick. The glue stick works okay, actually better than the liquid adhesive, but I prefer using the spray adhesive. I'm using this multi-purpose adhesive. I'm gonna take it to a well-ventilated area and spray all the backs of these butterfly pieces. You can see how great that adhesive is and how easily it's going to attach to the dry backing of the butterfly. You wanna make sure that all that watercolor is completely dry or your adhesive will not stick. So here I've got that intricate piece both on the front and the back side of that butterfly. I also added that distress ink on both sides. I really like the way that looks a little more realistic. All right, so we want to add those white dots to the edge of the butterfly. I am just using some correction ink in order to do this, but I think some white acrylic paint would work just as well. So I've got a lot of these butterflies and most of them are going to go for an educational project but with the extra ones I'm going to use them for cards. I just glued down a stick onto this card base and now I am just using my hot glue gun to put that butterfly piece on and it looks super gorgeous. I love three-dimensional cards. Just want to make sure that this is well packed if you're going to send it in the mail and all those little details really add a final touch to that card. All right, so if you want to see some of the other projects we're doing with our butterfly unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. I've also left a couple other playlists that might interest you with our nature spring units. And if you want to see what we're doing on a daily basis, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.